What's up guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for the city that never sleeps. In this episode, we're going to be taking on two missions. The first one is called Together But Alone, and the second is called Humanitarian Aid. Like most of the missions in the DLC thus far, these two quests are going to involve trying to prevent Hammerhead from stealing more supplies from Silver Sable. Hope you enjoy, and please remember to like and subscribe. Hey MJ, what's up? Hammerhead guys are hitting an Oscorp shipping facility near Seaport. Got it! I'm headed there now. Question for you. We knew Hammer had stole most of the Sable weapons already, and a bunch of equipment from police lockup. Now he's stealing Sable tech that's bound for Sakaria. Where is he putting all this stuff? No idea. But if we can find out where, we can cut off his supplies. I'll try to cross-reference his men's activity with the city map. See if I can't nail down a location. Good plan. Hey, so I've been reading up on the situation in Simcaria. There's a ruling dictator attacking his own people. Apparently Silver Sable's been working alone to arm the rebels and fight back, but she's losing. Sounds like she could really use the stuff Hammerhead is stealing from her. Explains why she's so angry. And desperate. Maybe. But I also think that angry is just her default emotion. I'll let you know what I find at the shipping facility. That's actually a really good question. Where is Hammerhead keeping all this gear? You think Spider-Man would have found out by now? He's here! Get moving! Hey, don't leave! I just got here! Nice, I was hoping for more missions like this. You guys sure seem like you're in a hurry. Probably has nothing to do with all those stolen goods in the back, am I right? I'm sure it's all a big misunderstanding. The police will be here soon to help you return what you accidentally stole. Ah! Now stay here while I go help your friends. Gotta catch up to that other truck. I said this before quite a few times, but the DLC really manages to nail the chase mechanic in this game. So this mission has a thumbs up from me so far. Oh no, you saw me! Fine, you win this round! And your prize is a one-way ticket to Rikers! Okay, just two more. The main story had a few chases in it, but they weren't really all that memorable. I think the best one was probably chasing down Shocker, but even then, that wasn't all that great. She's gonna kill someone! his workforce. Those drones are going after Sable. I should help her, right? If I 
could land on the wing, I could use both web shooters. Sable, I just want to make it very clear. I'm trying to help you right now. Get off. Sure thing. As soon as I take out the rest of these drones. Hey, Sable, you're clear now. I'll just assume silence means thank you in Simkari. Okay, now onto that last truck. Hammerhead. If I talk, he'll kill me. So you do what you gotta do. <laughs> Look, we both want the same thing. If we work together, we'll find him. Trust me. Right. We work together. Like partners. Yeah, partners. <laughs> So you'll call me? I am 77% sure she's not a robot. Spider-Man, over here! Attention units, there's been a stall in progress. That doesn't sound good. Better check it out. Alrighty, so that last mission was absolutely awesome. I always love chases, and that little part at the end with the drones was just so cool. There's one thing that Spider-Man games have that no one else can possibly offer. It's the way that this superhero moves around the city. One of my favorite parts about this game is just swinging around New York. And when you add a chase into the mix, it just makes everything so much more awesome. Hey Peter! Miles! You done with your assignments? Yeah, and I can see why it's so important. But listen, I just took a look at those web shooters in your bag. Are those for me? Yes, but only when you're ready. What were you doing in my bag? It was open. And I could see them, sort of. And I, uh, I just noticed that the nozzle size and shape is the same as your other ones. Yeah, so? Well, according to Hook's Law, elastic force is linear with distance given all factors are equal. But you and I aren't equal. Wow, you're right. Just a few pounds can affect tensile strength, rate of web fluid consumption. And a few other things. But I've done all the calculations. If we just tighten the nozzle diameter by 0.7 millimeters, it all pretty much evens out. I think I've officially underestimated you. That's a good thing, right? Seems like you're more than ready for field training. As soon as I'm done dealing with Hammerhead. Yes! Can I start practicing with the web shooters in the meantime? Nope. And if I find out you even left the house, I'll call it off. Man, you're like the most and least fun superhero ever. Hammerhead's crew have a Sable agent pinned down. Not exactly a fair fight. Let's even the odds a bit. This guy so means when they're incapacitated. to teach me how you do all that. I wish I could say there was an art to it. Mostly I just try to go where the bullets aren't. Well, I am in your debt. What were these guys after? These are humanitarian supplies bound for Simkaria. You have heard of the civil unrest? I heard it was more of a civil war. Indeed. Well, these men attacked me and stole most of the supplies. Where they took them, I do not know. 
I'll keep an eye out and let you know if I find any. Nice to meet you, uh... David. David Obademi. <laughs> Spider. Spider-Man. Okay, that sounded way less awkward in my head. <laughs>